some of you will enjoy this video more than others. Basically, if you were around at the time and watching this channel when we signed Kurt Zuma, you'll understand. I, I am going to do what it says on the tin. I will tell you the West Ham news in this video, but I'm just letting you know at the end there will be a little bit of silliness because, well, I'll give you the context. When we first signed Kurt Zuma, I did a little Google search on him. I was aware of who he was, but I wanted to find out a little bit more. Sometimes I prepare before I do a video. Shock, horror, right? When I typed in on Google about Kurt Zuma, not only does it give you the information, the latest news about anything that you're typing in, it will also tell you the most asked questions. Go and try it now. In fact, don't do it now. Wait until the end of this video. Um, go and type something into Google and it will give you the most asked questions. The reason it became a little bit silly is the most asked questions about Kurt Zuma were quite ludicrous. It says things like, how tall Zuma? Does Zuma hurt? Who's Zuma wife? All these sorts of things. Anyway, I've totally forgotten about it. It's gone to the back of my mind until today. I went to do a little bit of research on some, a player we've been linked with, which is Calvin Bassey. I typed Calvin Bassey's name into Google and I got a massive shock. And then I went on a little bit of a rampage and started typing lots of West Ham related stuff into Google. And it's thrown up some pretty odd questions. So if that sounds at all appealing, if you're in a bit of a silly mood, maybe wait a while along until the end of the video and we'll go through that. There's a really good reason why I was typing Calvin Calvin Bass's name into Google, of course, and that's because we've been linked with him. Now, when I say we've been linked with him, we were, it was confirmed that we'd actually bid for him. Now, he was a player that had been of massive interest to a lot of people that, that watch this channel, certainly when I read the comments, a lot of people were saying, go and get Bassey. Bassey's a player we need to get. In the end, he went from Rangers to Ajax for £22 million. Really good player. But I was thinking of him more as a fullback, whereas I read a couple of articles describing him as a centre-back. I thought, well, hang on, hold on, have I remembered this right? Um, so I, I Googled him just to, just to make sure. I guess it's, it's no coincidence, it's no surprise that we were bidding for him, but basically Calvin Bassey's team, Calvin Bassey's representatives did confirm that West Ham had made a bid and apparently made a very good bid. Shouldn't be a surprise. We knew we were interested in the left back and actually that was confirmed by the time that we signed one. We signed one in Emerson. Um, but I just thought it be, was interesting to, to note that we had. Uh, there's some interesting news at the moment. I guess one of them, which is always nice, is, um, is to hear that one of the lone players is doing particularly well and that's uh, Manny Longello. So um, Longello went on loan to Birmingham. When he turned up at Birmingham, it, basically, he hadn't had a pre-season because he was injured, if you remember, which I, I felt it was, um, I felt a bit sorry for him, really. It was a sort of chance to impress, really. And I guess, well, someone like Conor Coventry had impressed enough to keep himself in and around the squad. Now, I'm yet to be convinced that even if Longello does well when out alone, and he's doing well, by the way, now, which is sort of the point of, of including this segment in the video, is uh, I don't remain unconvinced that, even if he does well, David Moyes will utilise him and play him in the team. I just, I don't know. I've never quite, I've never quite felt that David Moyes really sort of fancies him um, as a player. But you know what? I'll tell you what was said about Longello anyway, if I can find it. Um, there it is. Um, so the Birmingham City boss is John Eustace. And I'll tell you exactly what John Eustace said. He said, um, it's unbelievable. Um, even at the end, end, end of the game on Wednesday, he was getting stronger. His fitness levels have been excellent. The context that is that his fitness levels were terrible at the start. He said, he's a young lad, learning his trade now. Um, he's got five games. He's had five games in 19 days, which is an achievement, especially as he's not had a pre-season. Um, he says, we've been really pleased with his performance and the way he's gone about things. He's a really good young player. Um, basically says we got him when he was injured, um, but said he's, he's very good. He's got good ability and he's really, really hungry. Uh, they <laughs> Clearly, they're not feeding him. John Eustace is not feeding... John, you're not going to keep those uh, fitness levels up if you don't feed your players, mate. Um, let's put it that way. Other news. Uh, OK, so this has come from um, Tribal Football. It's more links of Declan Rice away. Same thing, which is... Graham Potter's not interested in Jude Bellingham. How, how the bloody hell would they know, by the way? But anyway, Graham Potter's not interested in Jude Bellingham, but he's still interested in Declan Rice. Well, OK. Um, you know, what, what can you say? I don't really know what to say about that, really. It's just more of the same. Um, there's a lot being said about, um, about Craig Dawson at the moment as well. I think I'll deal with him in a video tomorrow because there's just so much of it that um, I think it sort of deserves, it probably deserves a little video all by itself. Probably the big news uh, in all this, and the really good news, is is Lucas Paqueta, <laughs> who also features in the segment in a minute, uh, by the way. Um, 
I'll, I'll deal with that. It's, it's, some of this stuff has really tickled me. Let me just get through this bit before I start giggling and um, and we start having a little bit of little bit of silliness. Um, Paquetta was injured, as you know. It was there was all sorts of rumours flying around. So it, uh, maybe his collarbone was chipped or something like that. I'm I'm not so sure. Um, that's a Manny, Manny Longello could do with a chip by the sounds of it. Anyway. Uh, so Paqueta, it was rumoured he might even miss the World Cup. Apparently he's going to be all right. He might even be back for the Man U game. So I think there's not a lot to worry about. But it was, it was actually seemed to be a lot of the worry was coming from the um, from the club, really. But actually Lucas Paqueta said, no, look, guys, I'm all right. Don't worry about it. And then, um, and then David Moyes, or Moisey, as we like to call him, said, no, don't worry about it. Lucas Paqueta is absolutely Fine. Right, we're going to get on to a little bit of silliness. Now, there is other news. There's other news about the stadium, naming rights, uh, shirt sponsors. Uh, you know what? It's all a bit boring, quite frankly. And the other stuff I'm going to discuss is just a lot more fun. But before I do discuss that fun stuff, this video is sponsored by the One Football app, which you can click the link and download by clicking the link below. That didn't uh, roll off the tongue too easily, did it? I'm actually using the One Football app right now, right behind that camera. I'm looking at the One Football app now, which is where I'm getting a lot of these stories from. Because what it does, it puts all the West Ham news into one place for me. So is it's easy for me to read it. It can do it for you too, because when you download it to your phone, you tell the app that you support West Ham. And what it does, it takes all the news from all the newspapers, all the Premier League generic websites. And it's very clever. It's got an algorithm. It goes and... I guess it key searches words and stuff like that. Puts them all together, takes the West Ham news, filters out all the other crap and just delivers all the West Ham stuff to your phone. That's the One Football app. It's free. Use the link below and they'll know you've come from Hammers Chat. Right, let's get on to let's get on to the fun stuff. This is real. This is this is where the action's at. Anyway, if you're sticking around now, if you're here for this, you're one of my favourites. Put it that way. Do you know what I mean? Everyone else is gone. It's just us now. Okay, so I typed in Calvin Bassey. Um, and the reason I've typed in Calvin Bassey, I thought, is, I was, as I say, I was thinking, is he a fullback? Is he, is he not, as I mentioned earlier on? So when I typed in Calvin Bassey, you're not going to believe <laughs> what came up, right? So anyway, so there's the normal stuff. If I can pop a little bit of this up, up on screen, if I've got time to post edit, I'll, I'll, in fact, I've got to do it, otherwise you're not going to believe me. So um, first of all, it says things like, where is Calvin Bassey from? Absolutely fine. No problem with that. How good is Calvin Bassey? Now, I always think this is an odd one for Google to answer. Do you know what I mean? It's a bit like, it's a bit like saying, you know, how, how tasty is Gordon Ramsay's food? Well, I don't know. I'm a bloody computer. Anyway, but anyway, so um, what age is Bassey? Which I think is, is fair enough. Just to stop the stuff you want to know. Here's the really good one. That's got me. Is Calvin Bassey related to Shirley Bassey? Now, this is magnificent. This is just about having the same name, right? So there's enough people have typed it in there for it to be a prominent search. I, 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 had, I had to laugh, but after I stopped laughing, I thought, hold on, no, maybe he is. So I clicked on the answer. And do you know what the answer is? It said, so basically, who's, who's, Shirley, who's Shirley Bassey? Shirley Bassey was a singer. If you're a certain vintage, you'll know. Um, you'll, you'll probably know her as singing um, one of the Bond theme tunes. Oh, it escapes me. You're shouting at it. Maybe it's Diamonds of Forever. I might have it wrong. Shirley Bassey is a um, fa famous singer. Obviously not so famous that I remember the song. But any anyway, why would she be related to Calvin Bassey? So this is the answer it's given. It says, it says who is Shirley Bassey? Um, Shirley Bassey is not related to Calvin Bassey. Good. And that's the end of the information. Oh, no. But. Oh, but. So maybe they are. But. They have a Nigerian link. Oh, this should be interesting. As the 85-year-old singer's father hailed from Nigeria. <laughs> That's it. That's the link. Basically, Calvin Bassey is from Nigeria and Shirley Bassey's dad was from Nigeria. And so I, I just think when it's saying, is, is Calvin Bassey related to Shirley Bassey? It should just be a no, basically. Um, that's not all there is, by the way. There's some really interesting ones on here. So I started typing some stuff in. Uh, I started typing in Lucas Paqueta. This is top. This is brilliant. I say top. I mean, it's at the top of the list. You've got the normal stuff. How tall is Lucas Paqueta? Where was Lucas Paqueta born? How old is Lucas Paqueta? <laughs> Why is Lucas called Paqueta? It's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. I mean, I just, I love this stuff. I love this stuff. I really do. Um, there's, how, how, there's one. how good is Lucas Paqueta? I don't know. I just don't know. How can I possibly bloody know? I typed Jesse Ling. Hey, I did it. I typed Jesse Lingard in there. So, let's do stuff in it. What is Jesse Lingard's market value? What is Jesse Lingard's ethnicity? Uh, this is the one. 
Oh, sorry. I really, I really, I'm so unprofessional of me. I really should have muted that. It's, it's, it's probably, it's probably just, it's probably, it's probably just Tinder. Um, it's anyway, says, so does, does Jesse Lingard have a car? Does Jesse, this is weird. Does, does Jesse Lingard have a car? Have a car. Uh, well, I, I can answer this. Actually, I haven't actually clicked down. I'll, I'll, I don't need to click down. I'll give you the answer. Does Jesse Lingard have a car? Yes, plenty. And you're going to hear all about it, basically. The whole world is going to know that Jesse Lingard's got a car and what car he's got. Just, you, you'll know. Basically, you will know. Uh, so how do I contact Jesse Lingard? Why do you want to contact Jesse Lingard? Um, what's another question? What's going on with Jesse Lingard? Um, and then there's not in for <laughs> Why did Lingard choose Forrest uh, over West Ham? Yes, we'd like to know. Well, we, actually, we, we know. We know. I haven't done that. I should do the drop. I, I screenshotted that. I should have done the drop down um, menu on that one. Um, that, that, was, that was really interesting. Um, but my favourite, my absolute favourite, and I, I clearly I haven't screenshotted it yet, and I, but I promise you it's there. So I'm going to have to go and dig it out now. So I typed in Declan Rice. And I thought this was absolutely brilliant. There, we've got it now. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm going to screenshot it now, just so I do remember. Um, <laughs> number one, has Declan Rice had a baby? Um, I'd suggest not. I'm thinking not. I, just for, for lots and lots of biological reasons. I don't want to get into a big old gender debate on here. Uh, uh, you know, he can identify as what he wants. But has Declan Rice had a baby? I'm thinking no. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'd want to leave the one until last. I'm not going to, because I'm not going to pop it up until I've actually spoken about it. So, um, what is Declan Rice's real name? Um, mm, I'm, I'm going to go with Declan Rice, I think. Uh, how much is Declan Rice paid a week? I don't bloody know. <laughs> what does Declan Rice's tattoo say? Why would you type that? Why would you want to know that? I, I, honestly, if it was, I just I just did really small wait for someone to do a zoom in and just have a tattoo, piss off your nosy bastard, something like that. Uh, why can Declan Rice play for England? I think that's a very good question, by the way. I don't want to go too much on that because it feeds into um, something else. Um, will Rice leave West Ham? But here's my favourite. You can't make this stuff up and I promise you I didn't. Is De This comes full circle now. Is Declan Rice Nigerian? <laughs> brilliant absolutely brilliant uh and all i will say on that one is uh the answer to that is no however but based on past experiences 